In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make adjustment refunds in Magento 2. So first, you're going to have to log into your Magento 2 admin panel, and then you're going to want to select sales and then orders. So now you're going to want to select the order you want to make the adjustment for. So I'm just going to select this one. And if I scroll down, I can see that this uh, customer ordered two of a certain product, and I want to adjust one. So I'm going to scroll back up and click Credit Memo. Scroll on down again. Now for this instance, um, say the product was an open package, or slightly damaged, or late, or something went wrong, and the client wants to return one and get a refund. Uh, I'm going to change that to one because I'm just adjusting one of the items. I'm going to change this to zero because I, I don't want to adjust this item at all. And to ensure that this one goes back to stock, I'm going to click return to stock. And now make sure you click update quantities. Now if you scroll on down, I can see that the subtotal for that item was $33, so I'm going to fully refund that. I can also refund the shipping if I want, and I'm going to do so in this instance. Say there was something really wrong and I wanted to refund her some extra money on top of the subtotal and the shipping cost, I can do so here. So I'm going to refund her an extra $5 on top. And now you just click refund offline. Now I'm going to go over to the left hand side here and click credit memos. And now we can see that $43 has been refunded, not just the $33. So say there is an instance where the customer still is going to keep the product but is angry because it was damaged or yeah again an open package or you don't want to uh, fully refund the item but you want to give a partial refund or just some money back. You can do so as well. So I'm going to go click Credit Memo again. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to be editing this item again. So I'm going to change this to zero because I don't want to affect it. But in this instance, the customer is going to keep this item. So I don't want to click Return to Stock because it's not coming back. So I'm just going to oh, click Update Quantities and scroll on down again. So in this case, um, I want to refund her, say, $13. So if I want to do that, I'm going to have to create an adjustment fee, which, which is the total it costs to make the adjustment or whatever time it took, or basically it's the total that you don't want to be refunded. So I'm going to enter $20 here because she's still going to pay the $20 for the item, but I'm going to refund her the $13. So. You can enter a comment here, just so the customer knows what went on, you know what went on, and you can email a copy to the client, and if you want those comments to appear, click Append Comments. Now you just click Refund Offline, and if I scroll back down to the left-hand side and click Credit Memos again, now I can see here that she has been refunded $13 for the other item. So yeah. That's all you need to know to do adjustment refunds in Magento 2. Um, be sure to check out Collins Harper for best in industry Magento web development. And be sure to check out our Collins Harper blog for new articles and videos and updates. And uh, thank you for watching.